Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Do not look at my hair. This is morning bedhead because it's the crack of dawn. crack of dawn the time I don't ever get up but we're riding today because it is show prep morning so that means we gotta be up at the crack of dawn the bugs are bad we got mosquitoes at the crack of dawn I know why the rooster does cockle doodle do a lot why because he's saying that they need something what do they need food and water yeah that water we bought was terrible they dumped the food did they dump the food yeah. oh I don't know if something was in there, maybe. Sophie, yeah. Sophie fixed in all my, all my things. Yesterday I came down and fed all the horses myself, you guys, and put them in the other field all myself. He has all his food here, Sophie. All the people suggesting that I use a tire to feed the horses in the field, I'm thinking maybe we could do that, actually. Now we have all those new tires. Could happen. But I feel like in another month they'll be going in that night anyway, because it's, it, in Canada, it gets cold faster. Like, our summer doesn't end until August. July and August are our hottest months. But sometimes by the end of August, it starts to get cold. The rooster is crowing, and Gabby just woke up. Did you know that if you don't drink coffee, your body still will kick in after a certain amount of time? I mean, it's been a couple of months for me, and I'm still waiting for it to kick in. Just joking. Good morning, kitties. You can't see them. They're legit standing at the door waiting for us. That's how cute our kittens are. Mornings are rough, especially two mornings in a row. Good morning, Molly. Ah, off, off. We're trying to teach her never to jump up anymore. And it's hard because we like her and we love her and we love her cuddles. When Houston comes over, that's Kaylee's puppy. When he comes over, they Molly and Houston play like crazy play. And Molly and Ruby is so concerned and upset and stressed out that she chases Houston off of Molly all the time. I, we are always calling her and telling her, like, it's fine. They're playing. Just leave them. Ruby takes care of Molly in a crazy way. Anytime time we come down and it's not a regularly scheduled time, they do this. They just stare at us like, what's happening? Everything looks a little wet still. Come on, Stormy boy. You got a show to get ready for. Gino's like, come, come. Oh, that just breaks my heart. Next time. Are we taking Chino in though? Yeah. Hi. Finny wants to come. Storm's like, it's not happening. Watch him get his heart broken. Yeah, watch him get his heart broken. See, he's looking. He's like, what's happening here? Look, he kind of looks good. Bambi. I told Finn we're going to a show tomorrow. You're going to get ridden today too, Chino Bambino. Gabby had to make the long trek all the way over to Stormy Night. Good morning for real, you guys. I am much more awake. I do think I need to eat. I haven't eaten yet. Today we ride at 9 a.m. No time for food. So typically we have an extra lesson each week before a show so that we can work on stuff and be prepared. So that is super fun. So today is our third lesson of the week. In the winter we were doing like four lessons a week, but uh, since it's summer and it's kind of Corona time, we it's switched wrong. to two lessons a week. And I'm happy with two lessons a week. I think two lessons a week is good Because then I don't get so sore. Yeah. Well, I don't know. And I'm so sore right now. So on today's agenda, why does Finny look skinny? Because he's been uh, working and he's a fat boy. He's got a, like a wide barrel. Some people are saying that you're too big for Finn. Storm has wide I'm not. No, you're not at all. About our trail ride yesterday, holy heck, you guys. I cannot tell you enough how confident I am on a Pasofino horse. Like, I don't think it's specifically Pasofinos per se. It is, it does have to do with the gate, but those horses are so trained and so well behaved. Like you saw us all standing in a row. Yeah, I loved it. Like I wanted to canter, I wanted to jump. Like the jump that I did, I only got to do one jump and it felt amazing. Like it was just amazing. Did you see me jump, Gabby? 
No. Yeah, Gabby was behind. We did take a GoPro of the footage. <gasps> Apparently mice. Oh, gosh, my heart is beating. Can jump in bags. Is it in there? Mm-hmm. It was in there. Oh, that's a praying mantis. Uh, where's the praying mantis? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ruby, get it! Oh my God, we're been attacked. Molly, get it! Get it, get it. <laughs> we gotta stop saying poor Jesus. Jesus, we're just praying, praying, you guys. All right, so that's why the mice are getting so fat. I crushed the praying praying mantis. I know it's bad. I'm sorry. Don't come at me, praying mantis police. But literally, did you crush it? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I have a headache now from the fear. Like, am I, I don't love it. I don't love mice or animals. It's just so uneven. <laughs> yeah, that thing that, the thing that cuts. I'm giving him a little treat because he was. No treats before rides. No treats before rides. But I need to do his other back foot. And he. I don't know. I did not do that. No, that was already like that. Oh, maybe it has mouse poop on it. Oh, that's saliva from the, the weeds. No. So I see a hole in here and that is the problem. So I am going to buy myself an empty bucket. That's magnesium. That's salt. Grain, grain. I need some place to put the treats because apparently mice love treats more than anything. All right, so from now on, treats are going to have to go in a container. I'm going to put this bag someplace that they can't get into them. So we're gonna go on another trail ride this summer. I know, he is sweaty. Storm's actually sweating. I know, so I know, and Storm's actually sweating because it's actually hot, even though it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. And we just finished. Sophie has been afraid of so many things and this summer she's knocked them all out of the park. There's only one thing left that she's afraid of. She's terrified of trail rides. She's out there on a trail ride just right now. I mean, it's just around the property, but she wouldn't even do that at the beginning of the summer. She's out there walking beside her boy, living it up, loving it. And she went on a trail ride with us last night and didn't complain a single solitary second. She was a bit nervous because she didn't know the horse. And she didn't let the horse do too much, she kept her kind of quiet, but she did it and didn't complain. Wants to go back again. Cantering her boy was a really st big struggle for her. She's doing that consistently now. The only thing that's still hard for her is jumping that one jump uphill and it's because she's going so slow to it he has to really throw himself over it to get over it because it's uphill and he throws her out of the tack a little so she's nervous about that that's the one thing so we'll concentrate on that after the show but yeah i'm so proud of my girls like gabby and storm ripping it up this year sophie and finn like it's it's insane it's winter it's winter's gonna be all about you you okay you all right with that you're still looking better and better I filled up a bunch of buckets for their bath later today. Well, the weird thing about bathing, the horses that we rode yesterday in the, on the trail, they were fabulous at bathing. You could tell they're used to it. That's been done to them all the time. They loved having us like with the hose. Our horses are not that used to having a shower. Our horses don't love the the hose at all, and I know that just to get Chino them. Does. does Chino? Well, not about the hose. He likes being bathed. Uh, Does he? Chino right, likes with it? Sponge. Yeah, like with it. a sponge. Yeah, they like that. Our horses don't love the hose because we haven't done it consistently. And I think none of them, none of the past owners have done it really consistent, consistently either. And I think one thing is that in Canada, the amount of time we can like hose our horses down is pretty much like July and August. So we have such a short, warm season. Yeah. I know some people hose them down with cold water and cold weather, but we don't. There are four things that you have to do the night before a show. Four big things. Number one is pack your tack trunk, and I'll probably dust it and clean it off. Inside your tack trunk is where you put all the stuff that you're going to need at the show. Fly spray, everything that you're going to need. All your saddle pads. The next thing that you're going to do is clean your tack. We've got all of our tack cleaning stuff right here. We're going to do that today. I cleaned my boots already, but uh, Sophie's got her D CWD. Gabby's got her uh, Devaku kit. We've got all the stuff. Usually there's a wall behind you. Uh, so we'll be cleaning boots, we'll be cleaning saddles, we'll be cleaning girths and reins and bridles and you name it, we'll be cleaning it. <gasps> oh my gosh, Gabby, it's so late. I should have already washed it. I'll take it up and wash it. That's how I washed it at night. 
I'm always afraid of forgetting stuff. Uh, the third thing that we do is we bathe our kittens. No, let's show them. This is what life has come to. Hay magnets. So cute. He's like, come and love me. And then up there is little Miss Muffet. Lexi. Oh, she knows her name. Did you see that? Hi, Lexi. I swear Lexi's like a person. So. She's so big. <laughs> she's a big thing. This thing thinks she's a baby though. You should see how Gabby watches TV with her. She sits on her bum, right on Gabby's lap, like on her butt, so that she sits up, their heads are, are level. Thinks that she's a person and she watches television with Gabby. But yeah, she's massive. Yeah. All right, so tack trunk. I can hold her with one hand. Cleaning the tack. Braiding and bathing. Yeah, first we're bathing. And then we have to shop and buy, like, pack all your groceries and stuff. Like, it's a big yeah. ordeal. This is how Gabby keeps in shape for the horse shows, you guys. Oh, yeah, I almost kicked you in the face. <laughs> I tricked your hand. Oh, yeah. Ow, I'm going to have blisters on my hand. Don't get blisters for the horse show. Another thing that we use is... This is the black one. Like, we just buy kits. Yeah, we buy these kits, cheap kits, liquid shoe polish, and we do it instead of, like, we do it on top of, like, so we already... And you just push it on. We polish our boots, but we also put the black dye on them so that they look brand new and fresh. Clean the... I like cleaning the tack, so I'm going to do Sophie's bridal and probably Gabby's. We need chairs in here. Do you guys want to sit in the arena and do it and watch the ponies? No. Oh, I forgot to... I got to feed the ponies. In the past, we used to go to the barn and get ready with people, but this time, now that we're kind of at our own place, which I love, do you like it better being at our own place or at the barn with the kids? Yes. Yeah, I do too. I love the kids. I miss the kids, I but I know, but we'll just make the best of it. So we got a little station set up. She's over there. I'm over here. I'm gonna get my stuff. I love using this stuff. Like, I love the Devaku stuff the best. You guys remember when Sophie got her CWD saddle and we were thinking like, what the heck is this for? Well, this is what it's for. We thought it was a tool, but it's just to hang your oil and stuff. Yeah, I know, I love it. You know it's way too late. is all cleaned. Wait, did I do that one? Yeah, I moved it. Okay, so the tack is all clean. Boots are all shiny. And now we're trying to pack this thing. So I'm going to show you some of the things that we pack. First of all, we pack our saddle pads. Uh, we have show pads, specific show pads. I'm going to show you them. So we have three, and I always bring three because you never know what could happen. So this is the one that is our most expensive one. It's It's some kind of sheepskin that starts with M. I don't even know what it is, but it's really nice. It feels amazing. Uh, this is the one that Storm will use. Then we have this other one that doesn't have the fur around it. I should just buy some sheepskin and glue it on or sew it on around because this saddle pad is brand new. It's really nice. Fiona says we can't use it because it doesn't have the fur around it, but I always bring it. Yeah, it's like fresh and new, but I always bring it. I keep that our saddle pads in these bags while they're in the trunk. And this is just like a synthetic one. I don't even know why we bought it. It's nice and cool though. And this is the one that I washed it so it kind of shrunk a bit. So that's why Finny inherited it. Poor Finny. All right, so our saddle pads, we go, go on the bottom. These things aren't fitting inside the cases today. I don't know why. The next thing we pack is this little caddy that goes on the top of it. In the top of our tack trunk. So this is where we store a brush. This is just a brush that we use for our own hair. It's an anti-static brush. We put an extra hoof pick that we never use any other time except for in here. I'm actually gonna put broken. this, yeah, I'm actually gonna put this somewhere else. Okay, so we always bring this Hi. little tiny bucket. This bucket is great for if you if you have kids and they have to carry water from one station to your to where your horses are, stuff like that. 
and we use it to stick all of our bottles in. So our baby powder, our show sheen, our miracle groom, which is bath in a bottle for any spot cleaning. And we put that in the bottom. So we also keep all of our braiding stuff typically in this container. We keep our easy horse shaver. I know a lot of people are controversial. This I know this is super controversial, but for our shows, they request that we shave our horses whiskers. We store our treats in here. If you guys remember, do you guys remember when we first got Storm and his old owner never gave him treats by hand because she never wanted him to get pushy? And so Gabby did that for like a year. And so she always took this bucket everywhere we went so that she could give him treats in a bucket. Do we still need it? No. So another thing that we put in this little basket is our boot polish because even though we've polished our boots, who knows what could happen. Take some alcohol scented hand sanitizer, uh, some more hand sanitizer, some more hand sanitizer, another little razor. These are just basically a one use, sometimes two use. So in Hunters where we live, you can wear braids, like French braid your hair and wear these ribbons until you're 12. And so we put Sophie's in here. Put Sophie's ribbons in there. These ribbons are literally like $40 for a pair of ribbons. Like I chose it's, the cutest one. It's insane. Or you can wear a hairnet and I actually have all of our hairnets. One is in my other purse and one of them is in the bathroom upstairs. We have three of them or four of them. This is our empty little hairnet thing. I do throw a sweat scraper in there in case we shower our horses down at a show. Plastic rain ponchos that protect you if it suddenly starts pouring. I keep a needle and thread because you never know. I keep a Sharpie marker. Safety pins. I also have Gabby's show gloves. And somewhere I have a basket of gloves. So I have fly spray that we always take. I like to take a water bottle filled with water as well. Spray bottle in case our horses get super hot. Never actually used it before. Do you think we should take it? I have used it. You want me to take Not it? Not that one, but the other one. Gabby does want to take this hoof dressing, which I can put in this bucket. And another thing that I always take to a horse show is this, because believe it or not, I've used it before. Sometimes you have to poke holes in things in leather. I like to have some scrunchies, some elastics in here. Another thing I put in there are washcloths because you sometimes have to wash stuff. I've just used them all in the barn today while we were cleaning stuff. So I'm gonna have to wash them all tonight and put them all back in there. I know where they are. on camera that how tan that leg is? Like I'm brown and white. I'm half brown, half white. I'm apparently white on the back of my leg and brown on the front. I don't know. Yeah, you I always take Baylor twine too because you guys always tell me take Baylor twine. Even though we never use it, I always bring some lucky Baylor twine. Go ahead, close it up, Sophie. And then we close everything up and we can go up and to bathe the horses. So I'm out shopping, trying to get all the things that we need. And one thing that we don't have enough of that we always lose are these seam rippers. You know, you use it to take the braiding out. I'm gonna get a couple of those and then I'm gonna get some food. Here it is, it is home, you guys. Our beautiful horse trailer. You know what? Our black crop is missing. Our There's a bucket of poo in our trailer. You said they didn't give it back. You did? Someone did. Do you know who it was? No. So bad news. Our crop, our black crop, you're only allowed to use. I think we, we gave it to lent it to somebody and they didn't give it back. That's what I, who did uh, we lend it to? I don't know. but we, I think Fiona made us. Because they needed a whip. Let's go beat them up. Alright. It could be the person on Polly, Avery. She rode Polly last year. Oh, wow, you've got good memory. You are not my child. It's time to load the trailer, bat the horses, and braid. Alright, so we're going to let Finn eat the grass. Go ahead. Is it a bug on you? Get those bugs right, off you. Alright, thanks for letting me know. Okay, they kicked me over to watch Storm. I wasn't doing a good enough job with Finn. Finn be freaking out already. Good boy. Yeah. Wow, all it took was Gabby being the boss of him and Zoom, he's good.
You didn't? Benny. Oh, I didn't even start yet. <laughs> I have to cut his mane. You didn't start braiding yet? Oh, yeah, off. you cut half his hair off. Why is this one so long up here? Because. Should be long like that. Oh my god. I can't cut perfectly. Stormy, you're all wet. Ready to get braided? Yeah. Look actually good when you're all shiny like that. All right, so uh, we are gonna get our braid on. Gabby is, did you see Gabby was uh, videoing? Did you video Gabby out there? Yeah, a little bit, she's still cutting her hair. Okay, so Gabby is on chin, Gabby is on Finn. She has to trim his hair before she can braid. I'm gonna get started here with Sophie. She did that, she got half of it off. Good, did she use that knife? Scissors. Oh, scissors. Okay. 